Okay, folks, welcome to this unboxing of Decision Games' D-Day Quad. This is part of their fire and movement system, and this brings the four D-Day uh, titles together into the one deluxe edition. This is an Eric Harvey design, published in 2020. Uh, it is part of the fire and movement system, which is a relatively lightweight uh, series of rules. Uh, it's basically an I go, you go system. You have a movement phase, a combat phase. Then you have a mobile unit movement phase and a mobile unit combat phase. It really focuses on that idea of um, mobile exploitation and combat. Uh, relatively lightweight. I will show you the, the rules first because there's not, not a lot to that. You can see here, it's basically a 15 page rule book but this includes all the campaign and scenario you can play all the individual titles utah sword individually the the main rules really just run to about eight pages and it's very familiar rules for um, hex encounter gamers you, as i said you've got movement combat mobile movement there's bombardment um and yeah various terrain effects but relatively straightforward this is certainly on the very uh light end of the scale. You can see here what looked to be half inch size counters, four counter sheets, front and back. Fairly standard decision games, um, sort of production quality, nice and clear. A sequence of play summary, and here you have it. So I go, you go, first play turn, second play turn repeats, movement, bombardment, combat, and then mobile movement, mobile combat. This is sort of the exploitation phase. And then the CRT. A dice and some baggies, and then this, uh, this beautiful mounted map. Decision Games are now shipping in a plastic cover. There you go. So it is roughly, roughly, oh, roughly 22 by 34, maybe a bit wider, um, mounted. That's the full map. Uh, you can see uh, two up in the top right here, two uh, sets of CRTs. So you can sort of, if you're playing with an opponent, um, you can see opposite, opposite each other. Turn record track on the right. Terrain key nicely printed here. Um, lots and lots of bocage in the central area here. Um, yeah. Quite a lot of clear terrain out to the right around Khan. Invasion beach is obviously clearly marked. Fire support boxes here. Two terrain keys actually. Um, for the two players. Yeah, very nicely laid out. And just so the back of the box as well. There you go. So it's a two play game, plays in one to two hours. Uh, it is brigade, battalion, regiment scale. There are a few different types of units. I can return to those uh, counter sheets. Let's see what we've got here. So you can see a couple of US regiments, some um, German regiments and battalions. And Uh, battalions and regiments, battalions and regiments. So yeah, mainly mainly battalions, regiments. Uh, low complexity. This says medium solitaire suitability. I think it's it's from what I grasp of the system, it's a pretty. I'd say that's probably better than than medium. It's relatively high. Um, open information. 
uh, hex based, I go, you go. I think these kind of games work really well. Uh, solitaire, where yeah, you've got that exploitation phase. I really like that idea in these kind of games. So, folks, that is Decision Games' is D Day Quad, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword, published just last year in 2020 and readily available. Thanks, all.